Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flame Energy reading for you guys. I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, welcome if you're new. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly appreciate you guys. So we're going to get straight into this today. Normally, um, I start with the Oracle card, but I feel like there's a lot of energy out there right now that's like kind of crazy. Um especially between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine right now. So I kind of just want to freestyle and see what energy we grab. Okay? I hope everybody is doing well. Definitely hope everybody had a great week. Not going to lie, my week was a little crazy this week. Um, it was real crazy this week. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, we got Page of Wands already coming out. So maybe somebody is um, looking at, somebody's watching, clearly, or maybe somebody is looking at their inspiration differently for the first time this week, um, being inspired by something new. Let's see what else we got. Got two of cups. So somebody's offering some love here. Two of cups, nine of cups, and the devil. So it's like... <laughs> okay, so there is some type of love that's being offered to someone that is basically has their own. You know, they have love for self. This person is equipped on their own. This came up in the uh, last reading that I did. But here's the devil again. And I always say it's like the devil is in details. So there's some type of toxicity in this offer specific that's being given to you. I don't know if this is with divine feminine or divine masculine, but either way, from what I'm seeing, you're you're emotionally okay on your own so you don't necessarily need this toxic relationship anymore and that's that could be what it is this person is watching you because they know you don't need this situation anymore they know you don't this was supposed to be this was supposed to be a serious serious like union this was supposed to be a marriage. You got Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, but then you got Five of Cups. So somebody walked away from it all. Somebody decided, you know what? It's not even worth it anymore. Regardless of how I feel with this Ten of Pentacles, and like my energy is high right now, guys. Like I feel nervous. I don't know whose energy this is, but this shit really hurt this person. Like this was like, I got it twice. Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands. This was supposed to be a union. This was supposed to be a union two times over. I've never felt like, like, I'm like shaky, whoever this is. I'm sorry that this even, I'm sorry that you even had to deal with this shit. I'm sorry. Because you really hurt. You It hurt the shit out of you to walk away. It really did. I feel it. Let's clarify this devil card. Like, who, who is this, spirit? Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. So, again, this was like... This, uh, that's why I said it twice. It was 10 of pentacles, four of wands. So it was like, it was like, you guys had two beginnings. Y'all tried this two different times, right? And then we got ace of cups and ace of pentacles to confirm that this was what it was. You weren't crazy. You weren't feeling like, well, did we kind of start over and stop? And did we really, no, you guys had two different beginnings, two totally different ones. And each time it seems like it may, it may have just fallen flat. It may have fallen flat. Do not want to take all of those cards, y'all. I'm sorry about that. What other energy we got out here, Spirit? What else is going on in regards to this? We got the world. Yeah, somebody said the this cycle is over. The cycle is over. Somebody is done. You got the world. You got the world here. And you got five of wands. Somebody is tired of this fight. Somebody is tired of this pissing contest, this competition constantly that you're in with this person. You're just tired of it. You're like, you know what? It's, it's time to just complete this cycle. I'm done. I'm done with it. It seemed like every time you were supposed to get somewhere, you got this again. This came up. The toxicity came up. When you were supposed to do it again, the toxicity came back up. You know what I mean? So it's like every time you guys have this, this dance of new beginning, you break up. New beginning, you break up. And now you've got the world here. And you're like, you know what? I'm done. I feel like that's more divine feminine right now. 
What other energy? Ooh, Jesus. You got temperance. Seven of Cups came up in reverse. But um, you got temperance, death, seven of cups in reverse, and three of cups. So it's almost like this had to end in order to create balance. This cycle has to end in order to get to the balance. Like divine feminine, divine masculine, whatever this dance is of this five of wands that is constantly being done over and over again. It's got to come to a completion. It's like, it's, it's done. It's over. Either divine feminine, divine masculine, take it how it resonates. But it's like, this balance has to happen. This ending has to happen. This came up in the last reading, guys. This ending has to happen. It's like, no more choices. No more, um, no more of this. No more of this. No more running around with whoever you want. Um, that temptation that, you know... As long as this person is indulging me, I'm going to run to it type of toxicity. It feels like this person, this person is toxic as fuck. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just going to say it like that. Whoever this is, they're toxic. So let it go. You got seven of wands in reverse. There's no more choices in this. The choices have run out. You know what I mean? And you got three of cups because you're supposed to be celebrating right now. Like there is, this is too heavy for what you have actually going on. Personally, maybe, maybe it's with your business. Maybe it's with family. Maybe it's with your career, whatever it is. You're in like three of cups mode, you know, partnerships, alliances, high priestess out. You're using your, um, using your intuition to get what you want. You're using your intuition. You are going within and using your gifts. So, you know, you kind of don't have time for this toxicity anymore. More messages, spirit. Eight of Wands in reverse. You no longer want to communicate this anymore. You don't want to do it. You don't want to communicate it. You don't even want to explain why you're pissed. <laughs> what did Jasmine Sullivan say? Oh my gosh. She said, I ain't even got the miles to trip on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't even got the miles to trip on you right now. I don't even care. That's what this is. That's, I don't even care. Whatever happened, happened. Sorry. Damn, the lovers in reverse. I don't even have the miles to trip on you anymore, bro. I'm done. I'm done with this. Lovers in reverse. I can't even make this up, y'all. I can't make it up. <laughs> Any more messages, spirit? But we would have to put this up. Any more messages? Yeah, somebody needs to go heal. Somebody needs to go heal because, you know, this is a lot of nonsense. Like, this toxicity here with this devil and this holding on to toxic bonds, but then not letting go, but holding on. Like, come on now. We got a king of swords here on the board. So somebody is using... Somebody's using clarity. Somebody is using their um, their knowledge. They're not taking any shorts. This person is telling you what they need, how they need it, and what they want. And I feel like whoever's energy this is, this person is the one that's like, nope, no more of this. I'm good. I'm good on this. I I'm not going to communicate this anymore. You're in your king of swords energy. If it don't serve my highest good, I have nothing to do with it. That's what this energy is. Any more uh, messages, spirit? And whoever that other person is, I mean, you got to go heal. This came up in the last reading. Please go heal yourself because you can't keep doing this to people. You really can't. You got to heal yourself. You're supposed to be divine as well. Three of Pentacles. You're trying to build something and you're not healed. It's not going to work. You can't build anything if you're not healed. Nothing. Nothing that you're going to try to build is going to work. Because you haven't done the shadow work for yourself. Six of Pentacles in reverse. You're not giving that even give and take. This has become unrequited love over and over again. How many times do you have to do the same cycle? Nobody wants to be in a situation where they're not giving, they're not getting the same love that they're putting in. You know, nobody wants to feel like I'm here for that person, but that person's never here for me. Nobody's going to want to build upon that. You understand what I'm saying? Like nobody wants to build with that. Any more messages, Spirit? The hermit. And somebody is going within. Somebody is going within. Somebody is learning that going within now is, is how you heal. It's how you get back to you. It's how you get back to doing the things that you love. It's how you get back to loving just loving yourself and loving who you are. Because this type of situation here made you question. It, it constantly made you question yourself. Whoever this king of swords is right here, this devil energy here. It made you question, well, why does this person always leave? Why does this person always 
Why do we always have this fight? How many new beginnings can me and this person have? What's wrong that this keeps going on and on? And it's not that because now you done learned how to go within. Now you know how to go within and go, wait a minute, hold on. There are things, I have bottom lines now. There are things that I will accept and there are things that I won't accept. Sorry, guys. You know, it's things that I will accept and it's things that I won't accept anymore. So I use this card as my blessing card. If I know how to go within, trust me, there is no weapon that you can form against me that's going to prosper. I know how to go within. I know how to protect myself. So hold on to that. Uh, let's get an affirmation card for you guys. Uh, from There's this deck that I use. I don't think I've ever um, shouted it out. But it's affirmation cards. It's love, wealth, health, purpose, and happiness um, deck. So let's get some cards going here for the collective. Back this up. Woo! Not that many cards. Wealth. Nice. All the finances that I could possibly need, I have them here. I have them here. So that's probably for that's whoever wants to take that. Take that. Everything you have, you need. You're definitely using your gifts to get what you want and to get that wealth, happiness. I smile as I realize that life is easy. To get what I want, I only have to be positive at least 51% of the time. Yeah. So you're learning now. You're learning that, you know what? The energy that I'm taking and spending and trying to figure this situation out here, nah, I'm going to go towards my own happiness. I only got to be happy 51% of the time anyway. I can deal. You know what I mean? I don't. If I can deal with this, I can deal with anything. So I really think that whoever this King of Swords energy is, you're definitely working on yourself. You're working on your wealth and you're working on your happiness. And there is no greater ending than that. <laughs> you're working on your wealth and your happiness. Congratulations. You know, you're, you're actually able to dig yourself out of this hole. Um, for the counterpart that needs to heal, definitely this has come up over and over and over again in past readings. You have to heal because the energy that you're putting out to other people is not positive. It's nothing but negative energy and you don't want to feel like everyone's walking out of your life. You need to heal. You need to heal yourself because you're supposed to be divine as well. So I hope that resonated for you guys. I truly, truly appreciate you hanging out with me. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.